In December 2023, police responded to a report of a suspicious individual at a dog park in West Salem, Wisconsin. A 28-year-old man allegedly approached a woman, presenting himself as a La Crosse County Sheriff's Reserve deputy. Around that time, the man had also placed a call to the non-emergency dispatch number. Dispatch center, Don. Hi, Don. This is Reserve with La Crosse PD. Judge John Segan, I got one sheriff and least two PD numbers in West Salem. Confronting and are waiting to discuss matters. What is your name? Yeah. What is okay. Go ahead and talk to the officers that you're out with, okay? The car. Thank you. Prior to speaking with the male who was recognized from previous contacts, the officer spoke with the caller. According to the caller, the man approached her, claiming to be searching for a missing woman in the woods. The caller mentioned that when she requested law enforcement credentials, the man failed to provide any. Additionally, he had no law enforcement insignia or markings, which made her uncomfortable, and she subsequently contacted the non-emergency dispatch number. Hi, how are you? Can you tell me what happened at the park today? I was taking my dogs out for a walk down on the point. I was taking some pictures, and also I turned around, and there's this gentleman that had walked upon me. And usually I'm pretty aware of my surroundings and paying attention, especially since I was the only one down there. Anyways, he approached me, and he was talking to me, but I didn't know what he was saying. And I asked him what, if he could clarify what he was saying, because he was, now that I look back, and I think he had a cognitive disability. Okay. But he was slurring his words and saying that he was a police, I heard him say police officer, I said, you're a police officer? I can't understand what you're saying. I said, you need to speak clearly. And what is your name, sir? I want to see your badge. Well, then he started backing off and he goes, I'm looking for a missing lady. And she's been, went missing this afternoon and was talking about that. And I said, you are not a police officer. And he goes, oh, I'm with the reserves. I'm with the Little Cross County Reserves. And I was like, this is a little concerning to me. Something's not right here. And so I said, I'm going to call the lacrosse police. He was saying the same name each time, but he had such a slur to his words that I could not understand it. But I did understand when he said, I'm a police officer, and then he changed it to, I'm a La Crosse County Reserve. And I said, well, you would have a badge if you're identifying yourself as a La Crosse County Reserve. He did not, of course, have any of that. I just didn't like that he approached me, and especially he waited all that time. All by myself, I felt like maybe he, maybe was watching me from one of the houses or something. And that's what I kind of thought, because I have two okay. teenage daughters, and I thought, if they're walking down here, what is this guy doing? Yep, we're in contact with left. him right now. Oh, you are? Okay. Yep, and is. once okay. I, I got on the phone and I was really, like, looking him over, I could see that whatever headset he had on was fake. You know, I could see, like, probably there's a cognitive disability here. It was still disconcerting because I just did not like the way that he had approached me sure. in such a small area. He's not a reserve officer, is he? No, he has no legitimate claim to a <laughs> to a bad. Okay. okay. No charges. I just want to make sure that he was talked to and understand that that's not okay. He said he's out here looking for people because the government secretary told him that and he works for John Siegel. Okay. And that's why he's out here. He's a reserve. He collects soda cans and turns them into the sheriff's office. He takes them down to Vine Street and sure. turns them off in the office. That's okay. All. Did he mention talking to somebody over by the dog park? Uh, he's got a picture of a pickup that he said their right tire spun in the sand back there. Okay. And he took a picture of their license plate and the sand. And okay. that's why he called because okay. they spun their right tire. All right. Okay. It didn't really look like much in the picture. Yeah. yeah. We're going to try to talk to him so he has to say it first, but we're, yeah. we're going to take him. Yeah. Follow your lead, boys. He's on the phone with his mom. Oh, he's on the phone with mom? I think. Other than that, he's just telling me he works for John Siegel and works for Told you whatever that. Whitehall PD, and he's a reserve for lacrosse. And what are you kidding? He has a gun that lacrosse PD keeps in the evidence room. That's well, his gun. Okay. And yeah, the evidence. Yeah, how he is. I mean, he's got a job. He's got multiple But he told you that multiple. he works for John Siegel? When the officer asked the man what happened, he gave an incomprehensible monologue, which made absolutely no sense. Can you take off the phone? Can you tell me what happened down at the dog park? I went down to the truck because of the GS came and go, and they said, regardless, I'll vacuum, clean out the vacuum, and you know, I see a GS come to the door, and you don't know why, just show yourself and try to figure out why. And I did a Secret Service Youth Safe walk around and checked the neighborhood. And okay. So them decided to walk back and down here and check if they were driving down there's a v-shaped pattern okay near the property line over i love at least two of them were okay uh, so it's been multiple footprints spreading out on, on the ground okay did you talk to the lady down at the dog park i didn't mean to intrude on her but i was just letting her know my presence okay what'd you tell her about a possible missing gs so i activated the sheriff's part prior to leaving home law, I guess. Okay. Did you tell her you were a police reserve? 
No, I tell her I was a reserve sheriff and this is a reserve John sheriff. Siegel okay. Under Troy. Okay. So my witness check now. I'm looking for John since 2016. I had unofficial swearing in 2014. My girlfriend and. I Are you actually a, a police officer or a reserve? Independent sent one at one point, and I don't okay. know if I'm still on active. But you're not though, right? I'm not going to discuss out of area status, but I also was in Trimble County Sheriff. There's a 2015 call up at Garland House. Okay. Regardless of that arrest for impersonating a police officer, okay? So I you put your hand behind your back. I didn't even do that. Now, do you have any identification that will prove that you are an independent or white hall police officer or reserve officer? If you have it, you at this time are required lawfully to present it to me. I'm bad. 626 Texas DPS Okay, I'm going to take it as a no. Yep. 608 signed You're not in this system. Is that what you're arguing? I'm not arguing. We're just telling you what's what. I'm going to fix that. Good. Yep. Double launch. Yep. Nope. Back to my squad. John since 2016. Federal since 2012. Green Union since 2012. We pull up and go sail them. Then right in front of here. Nope. You're facing the squad here. You have anything on you other than your phone? I have two flashlights, a hot bell, and all flashlights, some paper that I picked up from collecting trash. Just some paper and your phone and your some flashlights yep, in? Yep. I'm gonna put everything on top of the hood here, alright? Even though that was probably an investigation of the What's the cardboard for? I picked up trash, but I mean. What'd you tell the sheriff's department? Yeah, I was gonna pick up a case a little while, I guess. It was gonna just it was referred as a medical weapon or. The cardboard was a medical weapon? Some medical individuals who were 2015 surgeon carried that way. Spread your feet for me. Hmm? I got so many flashlights. Just in case We're gonna come to the passenger side of my spot here, okay? Got your hood. I thought it was civilian discharge from the store race. Like I read this as far. Okay. Hangs out here. You verify that he identified himself to you as also a reserve. He's a Minnesota who was employed. constable. He told me he was sworn under oath. We're just going to go with La Crosse County yeah. stuff. So he, he told you that he was working right. under John Siegel, yeah, John Siegel as a reserve yep. for your told me that La Crosse his badge agency. name. He said he has a badge name. That's um, badge I think it was Troy Siegel. And he's got a picture in Siegel's office. And his gun's kept at La Crosse PD. And yeah, he, he went into pretty detailed. Story. No, we don't need to do a report. We've got enough. Okay. We, we're going to give her, she's going to do a statement for us. So okay. we'll get her one later. Thanks, man. I'm going to tell you right here. He's grabbing your stuff. We're going to go in here. Have a seat right here for me. I did have a department of faith. Okay. Have a seat. Thank you. In the end, the 28-year-old male was charged with misdemeanor impersonating a peace officer. As per the report, the police department has also been working with La Crosse County Human Services regarding the male individual who has been involved in more than 60 calls for service over the last four months. Lastly, his cash bond was set at $300. Want a deeper look into the channel or craving additional content? Explore Code Blue Cam on Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes access, giveaways, and much more. Thank <laughs> you.